Hello and welcome to the Tech and Order Show, which is India's first social and web exclusive show. I'm your host Siddharth Sharma, and we have a power-packed show lined up for you guys this week. So, without any further ado, let's give you a glimpse of what's our lineup this week. All right, now that you know what's our lineup, let's get straight into the action. Huawei's sub-brand Honor recently came up with a smartphone that's caught the attention of many smartphone lovers in India. Yes, we are talking about the all-new Honor 6X. The Indian affordable smartphone market is a competitive space, and now Honor has come out with a smartphone that is expected to dazzle the Indian consumer. Now, Honor's launched this smartphone in India at a very sweet price range, and in all that, you get something like a metal unibody design. It's lightweight as well and fits in your pocket with ease. The device comes with a dual primary camera. It houses a 12 megapixel sensor that's coupled with a 2 megapixel camera to give you an unparalleled image experience on a budget device. Now, one of the main USPs of the all-new Honor 6X is the rear dual camera. Now, in the price range, the image quality on this one is just superb. Performance-wise, also the Honor 6X has no problems and no issues at all. This phone is not just all show; it has performance by its side as well. And the device comes in two RAM options of 3 GB and 4 GB. The octa-core processor has four cores clocked at 2.1 GHz and the other four cores at 1.7 GHz. The phone also houses a non-removable 3340 mAh battery. That on paper sounds a little less and takes time to charge as well. But overall, it has an amazing power management system. Now, one of the most surprising factors with the Honor 6X that we found in our testing was the battery. It is a phone that can easily last you a day and a half, even if you're a heavy user. But if you're an average user or a very light user of your smartphone, this phone actually has the capability to last you even two days. The Honor 6X supports 14 Indian languages for consumers to be at ease with the phone. The device also comes with an 8 megapixel front camera. Now, the front camera on the Honor 6X does click some decent selfies, but we think that the experience could have been a bit better. The Honor 6X has all the swag, but there are some shortcomings on the device. Now, what I didn't like about the Honor 6X is that it comes with a hybrid SIM card slot on it. Now, sure, it comes with 4G LTE connectivity, dual SIM, but in practical usage, you can either put a micro SD card slot and a single SIM or dual SIM and no micro SD card slot on the phone. That can be a deal breaker for some in India. Overall, the Honor 6X is a worthy smartphone and has to be on your consideration list if you are planning to buy a powerful, affordable smartphone. Now, with a metal body design and a marathon battery and of course those dual cameras at the back that give you fantastic image quality, the Honor 6X is definitely a phone to look out for under Rs 15,000. Now, let's move on to some automotive action on the show. Now, it took over 50 years for this legend to come to India and finally Ford India has got it here. We took it for a spin from Chennai to Hyderabad and next up is our review of the all-new Ford Mustang GT. In 1964, a muscular legend was born. It was unique, sexy and tantalized the very spirit of automotive enthusiasts around the world. It wanted its owner to have an adventure of his lifetime and make him a narcissist in the process. In India, many aspired to get their hands on one. And after 50 years, this god of automotive history 
is here. Now it took its own sweet time to come to India. But now that it is here, we thought let's go to the southern part of India to check out the red hot Ford Mustang GT. It grabs attention, a lot of attention, and it demands respect. India's never had a true bred Grand Tourer. And the Ford Mustang GT is here to make you drool and ride into the sunset. But hold on a second. First, let's look at what Ford has made. Underneath that gorgeous body lies a 5-litre naturally aspirated V8 engine that produces 401 PS of power and 515 newton meters of torque. The interiors are designed with inspiration from a classic airplane's cockpit. The driver's seat is low and sporty and the cabin is plush and makes you feel secured at all times. It is high on technology too with its SYNC 2 connectivity system. And wait, there is more. The Mustang GT Fastback comes with electronic line lock mechanism. It keeps the front brakes locked while you accelerate to warm the rear tyres for enhanced grip. And please, don't abuse it. The machine concentrates on performance and for you to focus on it, there is a LCD productivity screen. It has four drive options, normal, sport, wet and track. Now in the West, this pony car is known for its touring. But will it be able to handle the Indian touring scenario? That's what we are here to find out. The first test for any car in India is how it tackles bad roads. Ford's got that sorted as it comes with 137 millimeters of ground clearance. That is more than what you get with a sports car like the Audi TT. It delivers the thrill of using a manual transmission along with the ease of automatic transmission through the six-speed paddle shifters. Safety is covered too by ABS, EBD and electronic stability control. The new Mustang GT can also do corners now thanks to a new independent rear suspension system. Now the Ford Mustang GT Fastback is a car that's best enjoyed by two people. So if you plan to take your entire family along on a long touring trip, it can be a little cramped for people sitting at the back. Now of course this legend in India comes with loads of power but it is also a tech loaded car. You get things like SYNC 2.0, even the headrest on the seat adjusts with you and gives you ventilated seats and that cooling effect. You know it's got everything that you would want on a long trip to keep you fresh all the time and concentrate on the road all the time and enjoy the drive as well. So it is all sorted when it comes to the Mustang in India. But it falls short on one aspect. That beast of an engine is hungry. If you plan for a weekend tour more than 300 kilometers, make sure that you have all the petrol pumps mapped out before you start the trip. But forget all that technical know-how. Owning cars like these are all about making your bedroom wallpaper a reality. But that is an expensive hobby. Now the real question is whether the Ford Mustang GT Fastback is the best tourer that money can buy in India. Well, after driving it for almost a thousand kilometers in India, I would say just one thing. If you have 65 lakh rupees, then this is the car to buy. Now sure, Honor's launched their brand new SWAT phone in India, the Honor 6X. But what's the road ahead for this Chinese tech giant in India? 
We caught up with the top boss of the company and here is what he had to say. I think uh, the, the X series that uh, of owner family is uh, very important for us. Last year, at the beginning of last year, we launched the 5X, and uh, this time it's the 6X. The 5X globally delivery so far has already more than 11 million units. I think definitely that the 6X can achieve much more than 5X. For 6X, that we summarize that we have the swag camera, that which is very unique, the dual camera that in this price segment. And the second is the swag experience, because we use our own Kirin chipset and the future will support the Android 7.0 plus the Emotion UI 5.0. And also it has the, the swag, you know, the ID, the design. And uh, I think you have seen the product. It's a very, you know, it's a very nice design. Huawei, we comes from the equipment supplier. We are the biggest uh, telecommunication company in the world. So the quality control of Huawei, I um, think, is the best in this industry. Every year, at Huawei invest more than 10% of its revenue into the R&D, and in. Uh, last year, 2016, that Huawei's global R&D investment has become the globally number eight among all the companies. But I don't think that the, cons the price is everything. So we try to, you know, the focus on the innovation and with the right price, give the best experience to the consumer. I think that's the brand spirit of owner. I think last year is very important for us, you know, that uh, we announced the Make in Indian plane. The Holy 3, which is sailing on the market, is our first model, Make in Indian. As we announced, that 6X will be the second model. So Make in Indian is for the hardware. I think for the software, and uh, from long time ago, we already start Make in India. We start Huawei's business since 1999. So far, it's already 17 years. And uh, starts from the just several engineers. And now Huawei has more than 5,000 employees in India. Uh, besides this, in our Indian software, we support 14 local languages, which is very important for the Indian consumer. We know that uh, the Indian has a lot of you know, languages and cultures. I think the language localization is another very important thing that uh, for the Indian consumer. <laughs>
there is more to it than what meets the eye. Powering this beast is a 1198cc engine that delivers 136 Nm of torque and a jaw-dropping 160 horsepower. There's nothing to worry about though, as when it comes to stopping the bike, the Brembo monoblock brakes provide excellent feedback. But hey, the Multistrada Enduro is not a sports bike. It is an adventure tourer and hence you get things like a high seat, large suspension travel, a high handlebar position and a mammoth 30 litre fuel tank. This means you can keep on riding for hours, no matter what the terrain is like. It is also loaded with a lot of tech to suit your touring needs. Like a full TFT screen with Bluetooth connectivity, heated grips to keep your hands warm, cruise control, traction control, wheelie control, cornering ABS and electronically adjustable suspension. The list is long but all of this adds to the great riding experience and the addition of keyless ignition and a height adjustable wind deflector is like the cherry on top. When it comes to going off-road then the Pirelli Scorpion Trail tires provide ample grip and thanks to the several riding modes you can also select what kind of behavior you want from the motorcycle. The Multistrada Enduro is so smart that if you ever manage to jump the bike it will calculate and adjust the suspension in such a way that you can have a smooth and comfortable landing even before you touch the ground. Now usually at this point of the video we tell you about the things that a car or a bike lacks but in this case frankly there isn't any. The only limiting factor comes from the rider as those who are shorter than 5 foot 8 may find the seat a bit too high and will find the bike heavy while off-roading. There can't be a better adventure tourer than this. Yes, it's a bit expensive but then it completely eliminates the need of having any other motorcycle in your garage. And that makes it a winner in our books. And with that, it's time for us to say goodbye on this edition of the Tech and Auto Show. If you have any comments, queries or suggestions, you can tweet us on these handles. Thanks for watching and we'll see you soon.